Hi guys, and welcome to this week's episode of Revive Fair Rewind. Uh, this week we've got a few different topics, mainly health related. First of all, some actually really, really, really special developments in the yeah. world of biology, I think. Pretty, pretty big. Um, functional human hearts have been generated from adult skin cells for the first time. In the US, around 4,000 people are awaiting heart transplants. Um, and out of those, only two and a half thousand people will get that transport. And even after that, there's there's a huge chance that the heart's going to get rejected. So the immune system will just completely attack it, and then that person could get even more ill than they already were. Pretty much kill them, I guess. Well, not kill them, but wow, yeah. <laughs> mood. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this would allow sort of donor hearts to be stripped of all the cells surrounding them that was obviously in the previous body. The way that the the body makes heart, um, organs architecture of the heart would be created by the body itself and you can't really make that from scratch. You know they made a steak, didn't they? They grew a steak in a lab. Yeah. So why can't steak, they just grow... Why dead can't... piece of meat. <laughs> heart fully functioning thing, trying to keep a human being alive. <laughs> but they're mm. still... That's what is literally meant to be dead. At what stage does the steak become the heart? <laughs> oh god. Like, I guess it's a very complex... Obviously it's a complex thing because it's effectively... <laughs> It's growing. You know, pumps blood human. around the body. So yeah, basically, the the reason that this is so revolutionary is because all of the issues that were happening before with people that needed the, the transplant um, is that their body would reject them. But now these hearts can be created from this, their own cells, so right. it's far less likely. Pan, I thought it was them being coated in the cells, making a little in bit of a, you know a, frying in a frying pan with some cells, and then never ever. Yeah. Become a scientist. <laughs> like, <laughs> now we sauté the heart. <laughs> that's what I think. Yeah, we... They did a, basically a study and they took 72 donor hearts, which would have been deemed as untransplantable. So now they're taking those hearts, completely stripping them of the alien cell yeah. and replacing them with the cells that they've grown from that person's skin. And then they're being accepted by the host. So, the <laughs> host, I just think of a dinner party yeah, for like organs. <laughs> No oh, heart, anybody? Some Who steak wants more dessert? <laughs> yeah, so I think that's that's incredible. That's but it's not long. It's, uh, there's no sort of news on how long it's going to be until it's sort of massively done. No, not massively, no. the word. Like sort of like a common a common resolution. But it's an incredible leap forward and a really like excellent news for anybody who's got a cardiovascular disease. Or oh, that. <laughs> there's two ways of describing that situation. Cool. Anything else yeah. to say, sir? No, I think no. we've covered a good amount of it again. What's our next topic, Sam? Right. Moving on. Tel Aviv University have created sort of a patch for people with malfunctioning hearts. Mm -hmm. So um, you put this patch onto the heart and it sort of mends broken hearts, as it were. So if somebody's had a heart attack or any sort of cardiovascular trauma that's broken anything inside it. Yeah. So then it, it will then bond to the heart and right. become sort of part of it. Um, and then doctors can then monitor the patient through software and analyze you know, the conditions and how their heart's changing, things like that. Right, so um, the patch they've created is actually a cyborg yeah, patch. Yeah, that's, which is, that's so, what's in here. Yeah. That's what's <laughs> the key word there. And you still missed it out. <laughs> Common theme here, yeah. Sam doesn't read the material I wrote. Don't read the... So they, they've mixed um, heart cells that they know that they can use and just like technology. Yeah. Let's just go with the broad term of technology so, so I don't like, get this terribly wrong. Google analytics but for your heart. Yeah, kind of. It's like having a heart rate monitor, I don't know. But then I guess you get all the blood No, flow, not at all because you can tell how much like oxidisation your heart's getting and also if it's not contracting enough and if it isn't contracting enough, a doctor can monitor that remotely. That's the thing they're worried about. Press, they? press the they button can, and get medicine. Hack it, though. You can just hack people's yes, hearts. Yes, absolutely. So what are they doing about that, Sam? Uh, you saw how easy you hacked that site the other day. Uh, um, but the main saying? issue there is that, like Sam said, somebody can hack into that system. The patch is has got the ability to release medicine into the the host body, and so you could hit, you could like get a really good hit map. Be like, right, delete. Oh my god! Undo, undo, undo. <laughs> you manage it just. <laughs> So what they're trying to do sure. is make it run on its own and to make it self-sufficient and so being able to monitor what's happening with the body. It's similar to what they have currently with the old kind of what it's called. Beefmaker. Just a bundle of words. Blah, blah. But it's more advanced and then obviously it's going to stabilise their condition. Yeah. So it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty exciting stuff. Absolutely genius. So yeah. not only can people who need transplants 
get transplants that can actually fit into their body. DNA, not body, they're going to fit in. <laughs> it's hard, too big, you Dave. Bigger people not have like a... They'll have a fatty at heart. Ugh. Yeah. Like coated in that. Yeah. It's called the cereal fat yeah. if it's around your organs. Just imagine it in my head, it's just not nice. No, it's not nice. That's why it's bad to be it's bad. Like a white waistcoat around it. Like yes. Fatty. Yeah, similar. Aww, what? white waistcoat. What a poetic way to talk about obesity. Yeah. <laughs> Morbid obesity. <laughs> or a white waistcoat around your organs. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, Back it's a really the... lovely, lovely that people have got hope regardless of their cardiovascular issues. However, they have not said when. The sort of release date will be for this sort of technology. I so what, 10, please still five, exercise <laughs> and eat well and look after your heart and stop smoking. Yeah, but then again, what's the, well, imagine if people just start being lazier and like just make his hours get a patch, be fine. But what's brilliant as well is that they're taking this sort of technology and applying it to um, spinal cord injuries and brain. So if you've had like if you've had a stroke and a part of your brain doesn't work quite as well as it as it used to, which it's just sort of almost died, I guess. You can you can start to stimulate it again, but that's hope. That's incredible hope. So yeah, there's a lot more potential for the patch, I guess. For the patch, or for humankind. Yeah, but then the patch is good. crap do people so. on this planet as is. They don't want more of them living longer, do they? Speaking of release <clears> dates, <throat> release dates. Why? What else is coming up? Birthdays. The iPhone Seven. No, it's so great. There's a fair few rumours about what it is, isn't there? So. Mm -hmm. Mainly everyone's getting a bit excited about the duo lens camera. Um, so it'd be sort of a larger camera allowing you to just have a sort of 3D picture. Um, and so a larger camera or two cameras? I don't know, I've got that wrong. Two, two cameras. cameras. <laughs> so hopefully, I guess it'd allow you to take sort of a 180 picture, sort of like the panoramic thing, and then sort of go around it. Like Move around picture. the space. Oh. Like, that's what I imagine, yeah. Have you seen the 360 YouTube video? It's pretty amazing. Those things are incredible. I saw one with David Attenborough in it. Not only have they done the... Um, 360 viewing, what, which is which is which is difficult enough. But they then superimposed and made by CGI a dinosaur walk across the back, so you could explore all around the stars and everything. They planned every oh, single it? star. This was recently. It's been amazing. It's been all what? over YouTube. Where's you been in the hole? It's on YouTube, it. and you can explore it on YouTube. And then well, they've I'm, got a I'm dinosaur. Up, <laughs> I knew we were going Born to five years. <laughs> <laughs> um, Yeah. So he's talking about the biggest dinosaur. Not biggest dinosaur is. Not T Rex, is it? No, it's like the really long one with a really long neck, okay. it's a herbivore. Yeah, the Diplodocus. That was the. This is a bit off topic now. It was not, not a dinosaur show. Sorry, I like dinosaurs and I know stuff about them. Right, another thing that everyone's moaning about, or not moaning about, moaning. but I'm oh, sure God. they're going to be annoyed about, is no charging port headphone jack, which is kind of annoying. Yes, because you're going to have to take your wireless charger with you everywhere. So now well, what about if you're in the car and stuff like that? It's kind of handy having it plugged in. You're going to have to have wireless headphones. Everybody will have to buy wireless headphones. But Apple do that, don't they? They've gone from the wide charger to it's the skinny like the charger, no charger. And now but to like, the no charger. Apparently, it's difficult when you're trying to charge it. It has to be in a very specific place. Exactly, right? yeah. And that would be so annoying rather than just shoving it in and charge. Yeah, well, I mean, IKEA have actually come up with a lot of furniture which have got specific wireless charging in it, which yeah. I actually wrote about on the blog. Shameless plug. Out, yeah. <laughs> um, all our five followers, I'm sure they'll check it out. Hi guys, I love all five of you. I hope you enjoyed your Christmas card. But hopefully because Samsung have done it, and kind of failed on it, sorry Samsung, and Ikea have now done it with that wireless charging, and there's lots of other wireless charging pads, they will have taken that, or refined it, and done what Apple does well, best. Apple uses a lot of Samsung technology anyway, they just buy it does. Samsung, I'm does sure. Does Samsung buy. manufacture a lot of this stuff? I think so, yeah, they're all the chips and all the internal stuff, so... Mm. And there's also getting me a home button. That's been quite annoying. I kind of I'm like sure. having a physical button. I do as well, especially when you're power. Oh, I guess you can keep the power button still, but that'll probably be the next to go. So it? the point where you've I got take a touch ID will be gone. <laughs> to the point where we've got nothing. Just that. Light air. It's in your head. That'll probably be it. Oh god, it will be that, won't it? Yeah, carry yeah. on. Yeah. Okay, cool. Maybe. So but how are you like going to do touch ID? We've just got touch ID technology. Glass. Just read the glass. Just there'll read be, the there'll glass. There'll be a sensor. It's the same thing, isn't it, I imagine? It's just essential. I don't really know that technology, but technology's blowing my mind. I guess another thing that isn't really that interesting is it's going to be two sizes. Is it four point four inches and then five, five point, point five? Yeah, and then five point five inches. Yeah. But they're going to be sticking to that sort of template. If you've heard any more rumours about the iPhone Seven, or if you've got any thoughts about what you might like, or 
anything that you would want to Apple to address in its old models, please let us know in the comment section below. Yeah. Um, we could be have a comment. Yeah. Eight yeah. comments. Eight. Even one. <laughs> so one. Thank you for watching this week. We hope it was interesting. I feel like I talk more at least. I feel like I'm getting better. I'm trying. I'm really proud of you. Thanks. He's been attending a 12 step program. I am Sam and I can't be bothered. As usual, I'll be linking our Twitter, Instagram, blog and homepage in the bottom bar below in the information bar. bar. Again, if you have any questions, any comments at all, please comment and share and please subscribe because we will start to do these more often. Um, thank you for watching and we shall see you next time. See you later. Bye. Bye. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Revival Everyone. Go I don't for it. Know, I feel a bit cringy. Okay, I think you've got to get over that because you're going to feel cringy and you've got to look there too. Oh, it just feels so cringy. Yeah. It is cringy. Okay, yeah. get over it. Okay. It doesn't say anything there. It does. Log on to a computer and see it's functioning or not release medicine. Cool, but we did talk about this for two hours beforehand. Oh, he's wasn't even red. Man. Oh, custard. <coughs> Sorry, the, the light was shaking. Oh. Look at it. Why is it wobbling? Why is that wobbling? That's really, That's really creepy. You're doing that with your mind again. <laughs>